morning. My name is Tracy Gates, and I'm privileged to share today's words of encouragement. I have a vision for my life, and that is to let people everywhere know that they matter through writing unexpected letters of appreciation. Proverbs 16.24 says, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. I'm not someone who usually sets goals, but last year I set a goal of writing an unexpected handwritten letter of appreciation to a different person every day for one year. I called this journey a few kind words and I wrote 365 letters to people from all walks of my life. Um, my most intimate circle of family and friends, um, acquaintances, um, colleagues, people from elementary school and high school and college. And then the most fun group really was writing to people who I didn't know, but who I happened to have a positive experience with along the way. Um, I wrote to the waitress of the Rocky Hill Inn, uh, the guy who helped me for two hours uh, put, uh, put together my new phone at Best Buy, and that was an exercise in patience for him, not for me. Um, our mailman who gives our dog a, a treat every day when she delivers the mail, and to the barista at the new coffee shop in town who made the best chai latte ever. Um, it was life-changing, and it really became a beautiful practice in mindfulness for me as I slowed down and I started to notice all the different interactions along the way throughout my day. But the biggest lesson that I learned is that people crave being noticed. You know, we spend so much of our time worrying that we are not lovable or that we don't matter, or we're not worthy, or that we're not seen. And when we have nice thoughts, I beg of you, share those thoughts. Let's together help people be seen. You know, I made it my goal to be part of the positive change and the positive energy in this world. And I offer that goal to you too. It is so simple and it is overlooked. And I encourage you to try it. When we take the time to share a few kind words, we feel empowered and energized. And the letter recipient feels noticed and appreciated, and what a gift that is. You know, our words matter and our behavior matters. Now, I would say almost more than ever. Proverbs 18.4 says, a person's words can be life-giving water. What became so apparent to me on my letter writing journey is that rarely do we really know what is going on in somebody else's life. So every kind thought that you have is truly a gift that has the potential to fill a void in someone else's life. So don't deprive them of the gift of your kindness. I mean, imagine going to your mailbox and amongst the bills in your junk mail, you find a handwritten letter of appreciation. What a simple and powerful joy that someone has offered you. It doesn't take a lot of time but what it does take is a few minutes of being fully present, putting aside your negative ruminating and filling your mind with authentic thoughts of, of appreciation and affirmation and admiration for somebody. So grab a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be a nice piece of stationery. Grab a pen, find a stamp if you can, and know that you will put a smile on the face of a fellow human being. If you don't want to handwrite your, your note, then pick up the phone, call somebody, send an email, send a text, um, tell the person uh, face to face what it is that you admire about them. Just share a few kind words and do your part to make this world a little kinder. I encourage you all to offer a few kind words. The world sure can use it right now. Thanks, have a good day.